Cyberbrainer is an online training platform designed to help individuals and teens learn the latest technologies and become certified professionals producing a comprehensive learning experience. Okay, now it's available. Okay, see earlier I was getting something over here and reimbursement allowance plans and everything. Somebody's made modifications over there. So unless I have access to the overall compensation domain, I cannot view total towards which is a child domain. Policy compensation tab, which is another domain policy or subdomain policy. And again, I have paid changes to all these subdomain policies and the relevant tasks over here. Everything is with us. Is that domain policy? Clear. Unless I have access to my parent policy, I cannot view the child policies. That's how it is. Clear thus far. That is how it all rolls up and rolls down. Any questions? Security is kind of an elephant to digest. That's how it is. And in a real world, what I have, and I will be very, very honest with you. What I'm just teaching you right now is only 10% of what exactly a real world could look like. I'm trying to give you as much as information as possible, but in a real world I'm giving you only more of the theory, plus a little bit of the functional expertise that I have gained over the last several years. But this is barely 10% compared to what you see in a real world. In a real world it's going to be wacky dokey. That's, in one word, how it is going to be. Thus, you are going to be seeing so many challenges, so many things. X user, Y user is going to say, I'm not having this, and when you design all of this, it's going to be really, really difficult. Imagine that security administrator. The role of a security administrator is the most complex in any kind of an implementation and you wouldn't want to get into that particular shoes. That's what I would say. So in the future, if you are going to go into a security administrator, I would say, God be with you. Nothing else. And security. I know it's going to be very difficult for you at the start, but tomorrow I'm going to be revisiting all of this and I've only taught you the basics of security. There is so much more in security and all this conflict management right now. I taught you about the view and modify people having or people being in two security groves, but one will have you and one will have. Modify how to actually circumvent all that. We have so many ways to do that, but I don't want to get into that. Now just try to digest whatever we have seen today, and I will share this particular deck across with you right after this. Just try to go through this particular deck and try to understand what are doing in policy, functional areas, subdomains, and all of this are, and try to first understand this picture and visualize this in your mind. You will kind of get it and tomorrow we will revisit this again, because we've seen a lot of, I know. But I will revisit this tomorrow and take some questions as well and see where we can proceed from there. But, guys, activity for you today. Go through. I will share this material across, at least till slide number 3. Try to understand what is happening. And if you go scroll down also, it will only contain all of what we have seen so far. It will contain domain security policies, business process policies, and everything else, and how a security group can be created. All of that is available, and I think, Krishna, many, this should be kind of relevant to you as well. The material. So just do go through this, and let me know if something is not clear. All right. This is more or less what we have seen today, and other stuff as well. Tomorrow. What I'm going to be seeing is we have seen about constrained security group. If you guys feel comfortable, I will take unconstrained as well, 
but only if you guys want to go an extra, take an extra mile and learn about unconstrained, because unconstrained is a little bit confusing. So that is why I don't know whether I want to go through that or not. But otherwise we will try to revisit security, and we will take as many questions as we can tomorrow for security groups, because security groups is going to be definitely very, very important. For you, and even if you go for an interview sometime in the future. This is going to be very important, especially the view and the modified accesses. Just remember whatever I taught you today and that's going to be helpful for your, at least at a foundation level, and probably once you do one or two implementations, you will get a hang of things. But for now, just understand what exactly business process policy is, the security around business process policy, the domain policy is, and what drives what. And, in a nutshell, all that you need to understand as security is concerned is, if you're not able to understand what it is, just remember this. Who does what, and then try to look back and understand what exactly the domain or the business process policy does. You will understand it better. Clear. If you have that particular framework in your mind, if you have that particular thought running in the back of your mind, you will understand security easier. Just understand who does what, and that will help you. All right, clear on that. Any other questions? And I will share this particular document across with you today and today again. We will be going through all of this tomorrow as well. Tomorrow we will see. This is whatever I have taught you so far over the last three, four days. This is what is available in this particular deck as well. So I will share this deck. So go across this, go through this particular deck today and come back with more questions. And if you are going to be playing around with the domain security policies, well and good, but do not change any existing policies which are there. Only make changes to your own new security policies or security groups that you're creating. Do not play up existing ones. Please do like, share and subscribe to our channel.